Good evening and welcome to the Brookfield Republican Town Committee's 10th annual Meet the Candidates Night. Thank you everyone for coming out and listening to us. Our candidates, thank you for running. The candidates that were unable to attend this event due to prior commitments, thank you for being part of the whole process of making this town a beautiful town. I'd like to ask everyone to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance before we get started. Flags over in the corner. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. My name is Stephen Comtois. I am the chairman of the Brookfield Republican Town Committee. I will moderate this event this evening. A um, little bit different than what we've been doing. Usually there's a contested race, highly contested race. Uh, we do have a contested race. It's a moderator's race. Uh, two of the three candidates are here. Another one, um, unfortunately, is away. Again, prior commitment. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to invite each candidate that has attended. They will make a statement. If anyone in the crowd has any questions, feel free to ask. If not, we'll keep moving down the list, and we'll do it in the order that we are on the ballot. Uh, first and foremost, a man that needs no introduction, but I am uh, privileged to introduce him. A man running for three uh, positions on this uh, ballot for town clerk, board of health, and I believe housing authority. With that said, Mr. Seary, welcome, sir. The mic is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'd just like to say it's been an honor and privilege to serve our, our town for the last 22 years in a number of elected and appointed positions. And uh, as Steve mentioned, I am running for three different offices, uh, the town clerk. This will be the third term that I'm serving our town. The Board of Health, I uh, think it's the fourth time around. Um, got 11 years of service on the Board of Health. The Housing Authority, which I currently serve as chairman, I, have, uh, I am running for my second term. I, uh, I got elected on, on four votes my first time around. It was a write-in. That was a whopper for sure. And uh, I'd just like to say that uh, it has been an honor to serve our community. It's one that I was born and raised in. I've got a lot of pride and commitment to this town, and uh, I look forward to continuing to serve, and I thank you, the citizens, for your support. Good evening. Thank you, sir. Uh, next in attendance, uh, running for re-election for Board of Selectmen, Ms. Linda Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Welcome, ma'am. First of all, I would like to thank the Republican Town Committee for sponsoring tonight's Meet the Candidate Night. I would also like to thank the residents of the town of Brookfield for their support these last three years and having confidence in me that I will serve the townspeople to the best of my ability. During the past three years in office, I have been exposed to another side of town government that has led me to be, have a better understanding of the governmental process at a local level, hands-on involvement in the budgetary process, supporting and promoting local programs, understanding the needs of the residents, and working towards common goals, and ultimately having a vote and decisions that benefit the town of Brookfield, and having the, having, uh, the responsibilities that I do not take lightly. During my term in office, I was in total support of building a new police station, which is, the only, which is only a necessary ad asset, but an attractive and functional facility that will serve the town's needs for many decades. Also, I was instrumental, along with two of the other selectmen, in forming a new five-member personnel committee in which I currently serve. We are currently working on a new handbook, which we feel that would be more beneficial to our annual employees, and we will be asking the voters at the annual town meeting to amend the old personnel bylaws and replace it with the new employee handbook. We have also met with department heads, and we have reviewed all the job descriptions of all of the employees in the community. Another issue that is very important to me is the communications with our department heads. We have monthly meetings, and this year, this time what we're doing uh, this month is we're going to have a roundtable discussion, which is a more informal discussion with just one selectman present, and we will be rotating in having a different selectman each month. 
I'm running for re-election because I feel that there are many more things I would like to see accomplished. When I ran for selectman three years ago, my campaign theme was to bring unity back to the community. I feel that in the last three years, I have worked hard to accomplish that goal. It seems to me that the division of the town has been improving and that people are working towards the same purpose. And being a retiree, I understand the issues facing us and settling into new phases in our lives, as well as the young families who are trying to establish ourselves themselves in our community. In the next three years, one of my biggest and most important projects I would like to see is the renovation of our historic town hall. It is a grand old building with the clearing of the police station property. The town hall is now visible from Route 9, and I feel we should strive to keep up its appearance to showcase this stately structure. I will work with my fellow selectmen to see what grants are available, available to restore this landmark that we are so fortunate to have. Along with this renovation, I feel it is necessary to address the office space issues, bring the building up to handicap accessibility, and to restore our great hall so that it can be used once again for the kind of events that all of us have lived here all of our lives. Meanwhile, work on the Farmer Lakeside campground property continues to move forward. I would like to become more involved with this historic project to find a solution to preserve the property. Being a lifelong resident of Brookfield, I truly love this community, and I want to make it even better for our future generations. I am very dedicated public servant, and I'm putting in the time and effort to be successful in whatever I do. Community and family are very important to me. I am a very active member of many committees and very active in my church. I want to stress that while I might not have all of the answers, I know Brookfield and its people, and I am committed to do my very best for them. And I thank you, and I ask for your support once again on May 2nd for the Board of Selectmen. Thank you, ma'am. Next on the ballot, we have a candidate for re-election for a constable, Mr. Richard LaPierre. Welcome, sir. Thanks, Steve. Thank Thanks you. the uh, Republican Town Committee for hosting this event. I'm running for re-election. I have, uh, this will be my, running for my third term. I am married to my wife, Carol. We've been married for 52 plus years. Three children, nine grandchildren, two of which are serving in the military right now. I'm a graduate of uh, Hardwick High School. I'm a Navy veteran, four years active duty. I'm an active member of the Spencer uh, American Legion Post 138, past chaplain, and currently judge advocate for the last seven years. I've been a resident of Brookfield for the past 12 years. Carol and I own and operate Grandpa's Kettle Corn for the past 22 years. I've had over 30 years of public service uh, in the town of Spencer. I was a firefighter for 18 years, three as captain, I was a police officer for 15 years, civil, civil defense 13 years, 12 as director. As director in Spencer, I established the first dive team uh, underwater rescue unit in the area. I was elected constable for 29 years in Spencer. Presently, I'm an appointed uh, constable in that town for the past seven years. I, ser I served on the state emergency response team for the state of Massachusetts for nuclear incidents. And I have served all types of civil and criminal process. I have the knowledge, the experience, and I'm presently and have been a member of the Brookfield Police Station Building Committee. And I like to have you consider me when you go to the polls May 2nd for your vote. Thank you.
Next on the ballot in attendance is uh, a candidate for constable, one of three. Uh, you can choose two. Uh, Mr. Frank Leo. Welcome, sir. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Republican Committee for having us here tonight. First off, my name is Frank Leo. I've been a resident of Brookfield for 27 years. Uh, just a little bit of uh, background on myself. I'm a retired police sergeant from the town of Sturbridge. I served 26 years on the Sturbridge Police Department, 29 years with the uh, United States Army as a criminal investigator. Uh, during 9-11, I was activated to protect the Secretary of Defense. I was activated uh, from 2001 to 2003. Uh, with my experience, I've got extensive experience with working with uh, different uh, state, local, and federal agencies. Uh, my personal attributes are I'm conscientious, diplomatic, non-judgmental, and I function well under st stressful circumstances. Uh, while I was on the Sturbridge Police Department, uh, I got shot at. I was uh, we apprehended the subjects in Connecticut. Uh, I subsequently got a, uh, the George Hanover Award, the highest state award for valor under fire. Uh, I feel I'm very, very qualified uh, to be the constable for the town of Brookfield. I would hope that you would support me and uh, vote for me on this coming election. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact me by my email. It's frank366mp at aol.com. Thank you very much for your consideration. Thank you, sir. And the last gentleman in attendance this evening is running for re-election for the elementary school committee. A uh, seat that's near and dear to my heart, Mr. Brian Oxman. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Stephen. So first off, my name is Brian Oxman. I'm very thankful to have had the opportunity to serve on the, the school committee for the past three years. I'm currently the chairman and I'm looking for another three-year seat. And I was thinking about, like, why am I looking for that? And on my way in, uh, Mason, my 10-year-old son, said to me, he's like, this is the best school in the world. He said, at least the best school in the state. And that just hit me. I said, well, knowing it's the best school in the state, my job is to try to make sure that it stays that way. Okay, and over the last three years, and even I go before that, we've got great administration, we've got phenomenal teachers. And what they've done is they put us in a position where they've made strong annual investments in technology and infrastructure so that we're not expecting a huge tax increase in three or four years. It's been spread out and it's gonna be spread out for the next eight or nine years. So we've done a great job where the school's in phenomenal shape that way. They've also spent a lot of money on anti-bullying and social interaction programs. You know, we've heard a lot of things about school shootings. We're not, you know, every, every town that you've heard about this, you know, we're not immune to that. So putting our students in a space where they're learning to interact better. They understand what bullying means. You know, puts them in a position so that they can interact better, and hopefully we can avoid these things. That's a root cause opportunity that we've been focusing on. But over the next three years, my goal is to try to remain, put the school in a position where all the students, whether they're here in Brookfield or they're kids that have decided to come to Brookfield, are in the best position so that when they go on to Tantasqua, that they've had every opportunity in front of them. In addition, making sure that we're fiscally responsible along the way to have minimal increases in the taxes. Okay? So I look for your support, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, public service is a daunting task. Um, I've, I've been privileged to serve this town for many, many years, and I thank not only the candidates that came before us this evening, but every single individual on this ballot. Um, it, it really is truly a thankless job, and uh, I guess I'm contradicting myself by thanking you this evening and thanking everybody that serves this town. Uh, Ms. Mahoney does an exceptional job uh, behind the camera. She's that woman that gets, uh, gets our voices and our faces out there, so thank you to you and to your committee as well. Um, thank you for everybody out there that's taking the time to watch this, to educate yourself, because you don't have to vote for these people. That's your choice. We have write-in sections. We do have a contested race. 
Uh, it's a privilege to serve this town. It is not only the best school system, best school in this town. I've had two children that have come through the, the doors of that school. It is, in my opinion, the best of the 351 towns in this Commonwealth. So again, thank you everybody for attending this evening. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you on May 2nd at the ballots. Thank you.